Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and today we have a UAG lineup for your iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, let's start the video, show you what I'm talking about. Pow. Alright guys, so here we have four different cases from UAG for your iPhone 11 Pro Max. And as you guys can see, I do not have the Plyo Series case here this year because I had to go with the Pathfinder because of that crazy nice green that will go perfectly with your green iPhone. And I went with the black Metropolis case, which is basically like a Batman case, which uh, I'll definitely showcase in a couple of minutes. So let's just put the iPhone to the side and uh, let's look at each case itself. So let's start off with this case right here. This is almost like an olive green type case and it will actually match really perfectly with your green iPhone. Now it does not look like it on camera so I'm definitely interested to see if it actually goes that I make a mistake of purchasing this one instead of the Playo. Let me know down in the comments below. So let's just pop this baby out. So if you guys want to see how the back looks, it basically looks like the same thing in every single case. So I'm not going to do that for every case. So let's just pop this out. Pathfinder series case is back in the building. Now this does actually remind me of the Jordan Olive 9s. So if you guys have that sneakers, then this would match perfectly. So on the inside, you do have the shock absorption pattern here on the inside and it's basically a very sturdy case it's just a hard plastic and you do have the logo for uag got the fake screws on deck so let's just see what it looks like side by side with each other so you guys let me know what you guys think um i think on camera it does look like it's space gray but it's really not it's actually green so let's just pop this baby in and see what it looks like now tell me that this doesn't match you let me know so as far as the lip action, that looks absolutely perfect. It's really, really high. As far as the lip action for the front, you get it on all four corners. Now, the sides are not as good as before, but they're definitely there. This is how it looks with the screen on. So you guys let me know. Let's see how the buttons are. The buttons are extra clicky, volume up and down. Easy access to your new uh, toggle switch. It looks like I have a little crack on mine already. Or is that for effect? I you know what this thing is not cracked nope it's just the way it's built all right so let's now move into the next case you guys let me know what you guys think about the pathfinder series case i think this is a perfect addition if you do have the green one so let's go into the plasma series case all right so here we have the plasma series case and as you guys can see they did actually bring this back in blue they did actually bring this back in red as well i do have it in red um, let me show you guys real quick what it looks like in red. So if you guys want to pick these up, these are the Plasma Series case. Now, I do always go with the ice because it has a clear back, but I've been waiting for the blue and red one for a while. So this is what it looks like. If you guys want to pause that and read it for yourself, you definitely can. Built to go further. Military standard drop tested approved and all that good stuff. And the inside, you have a fake little cardboard box or cutout, whatever. So let's just pop this case on and see what it looks like. Now, it doesn't blend that well with the green, but if you guys have been waiting for a blue iPhone, this is basically the closest that you're gonna get that's not a uh, iPhone 5C or a 10R or whatever, but this is what it looks like. You guys let me know what you guys think about that. Everything's extra clicky. All the cutouts are absolutely perfect. This is what it looks like with the screen on. Lip action is on deck for each corner and it protects all three of those uh big camera sensors so this is the plasma series case you guys let me know what you guys think about that now this is another one i haven't seen in a while this is the metropolis case uh big shout out to batman and um this is a case i haven't seen in a while so i'm definitely interested to see what this looks like and how it fits have they changed everything i remember i did actually have um have this case when i had the iphone Right. So here's the case itself. You guys let me know what you guys think. Do have the logo for UAG right there. Um, it does have a little magnet there, so it does actually close and it doesn't pop open. One thing that you can do with this is you can't make it into a kickstand. You could try, but this is basically what it is. But the best thing about this case is that it actually closes up. So 
if you don't have a tempered glass, you can just close this up and put it in your pockets and the keys won't affect the screen. Now on the front, you do have the logo for UAG and you have this nice little texture material here. And uh, it's a very, very rugged look. I really, really love this case and I probably will be rocking this case first. Um, as far as the lip action, you definitely get a lot on there. And uh, as far as the front, you do not have to have this out all the time, but it does have lip action all across. And you do have a nice little cutout here where you can add a card or like your bus pass or your license or whatever. But this is what it looks like. Let me get into focus real quick. All right, so here's what it looks like with the screen on. All right, guys, so what do you guys think about the Metropolis case? This did actually come in red before, but they made it to all black, probably because the red got so dirty, but this is definitely a beauty. Let me know what you guys think about this one. It's definitely a case that I will be rocking after this videos are done. <laughs> so let's put that one to the side, and let's go straight to the uh, OG gangster case. This is the Monarch series case with that carbon fiber look. Now I do have this in another color as well. I have it in that black leather here. Let me know what you guys think looks better. This is the most expensive one out of all of them. I think the rest of them are like about 40 bucks. So let's just pop this one out. Now I did actually do a, a review on this one for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and it looks like the cheapened out on the material but this one is made a little bit better um, as you can see we do have the little fixed screws there we have the logo for UHG right there on the bottom these screws are definitely shinier than the one that was on the Note 10 Plus and we do have the logo for UHG right there so let's just pop this baby in and see what it looks like all right oh wow this is really nice I really like this and they do have a different pattern on the sides so you you could get a nice grip on this now the material is not as good as the previous years but it's definitely still a beauty to look at so let's just turn on the screen let me know what you guys think the lip action is always on deck when it comes to uag for the camera volume up and down is clicky no issues at all so if you guys want to pick up any of these cases the link will be down below if you guys like this video please hit it with a thumbs up and follow phone tech at work for more videos like this of the iphone 11 pro max and uag products let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite did you actually pick up one already the links will be down below so to the next video guys peace such a beauty